Ideal weather conditions for football here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea up against Leeds United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Havertz. Chelsea did more than enough in their win against Brentford. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, what a performance that was away from home. It doesn't get better than that. Today, I think we'll see them dominate the play, create good chances and win the game. Let's hope they play at their best. It's looking promising. Must score! Chance, maybe. I think the threat has been averted. Mount. James. Mount. Long way out there. Still alive. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Well, a goal update for you from the Villa game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal from Manchester City. They're the first on the score sheet here with 21 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Real chance. Can they put it away? And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Havertz. And he read it well. Now can they make something happen? Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And the short option preferred. Brendan Aronson. Shot attempted. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Who can he pick out? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. 
and reading it absolutely superbly James bodies forward and the break looks on Obama Yang an alert piece of defending Aronson well, there is going to be stoppage time but only the one minute oh breezing past him and so the first half draws to a close here in West London Well, Kai Havertz is capable of dominating any game, but that's not the case in this one. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. So the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Nicely timed tackle. Beautifully weighted ball. James. It's got to be. It's still alive. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage action for you to look forward to here oh, on Derek, what a chance this is. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And time for the change now. Delivering it. Well, a struggle to get it away properly. Can he give them the lead? And a goal! 1 0 it is. They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it. Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. So underway once again, Chelsea with the lead in this match. Now delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Leeds United facing Crystal Palace. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. He made it look simple, really. Well, as those stats show us, Chelsea haven't controlled the possession of the game, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Must score! No hiding from the fact that they really should have extended their lead. Well, that was a poor miss. Could they come to regret that? And they're making a change. Rodrigo. Good looking sequence. Adams. And space for him to cut in. Rodrigo. Textbook defending inside the box. So here we are nearing the end of the contest. Can Chelsea turn a lead late into the game into an official victory? Stuart, how would you critique their performance of this one? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organized. Oh, a smart save, and that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser?
Well, somebody has scored, I'm hearing, in the Villa game. But who exactly? And in with a real chance. Surely. Well, his accuracy deserted him at a crucial moment. Well, he had to score there. That's probably the game over now. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Ziesch. On to James. Armando Broya. There will be three minutes added on at the end. James. Real chance. In it goes to increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, here's the replay. What a great pass this is from Mason Mount. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Two nil now, and back on the way. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him. Just a moment of your time. No, no further questions, thank you.